This is Jeff with Metal Illuminati, and I am here with Andy. Hey, how you doing? From Lacuna Coil, Hi, how's guys. it going? Pretty good, pretty good. How's We're the tour been going so far? Really great. I mean, it's been a pretty long tour so far. We've done already two months. We started uh, in, uh, on the uh, beginning of the year with the metal cruise, the 70,000 tons of metal yeah, yeah. from Miami to the Caribbean and back. And it was a pretty cool experience. We never done it and we didn't know what to expect, but it actually turned out to be really cool. The fans were really kind and, you know, just asking for autograph and hanging out, but without any pressure because they know they can see you every day for right, like right. four days. So it was very cool and uh, we had a great time. We had time to visit the island. We had time to visit the, the captain's deck with the other bands and got with the people, play the casino. It was pretty fun, actually. Cool. A couple of shows, you know, surfing in the on the pool deck, <laughs> <laughs> trying to play <laughs> with wind blowing all over. Wow. But but. It, it felt more like a big party, you know, I don't know, really, that you didn't really feel the pressure of a concert like when you're on tour because you, you're just in that situation where you feel more, more like relaxed. you're on vacation yeah, you know, yeah. and actually. And it was pretty cool actually. Then we joined uh, Seven Dust in, uh, and we did a lot of the radio markets in the uh, East Coast and uh, South and Midwest. Uh, a lot of sold out shows with them and then uh, we went to South America for two weeks headlining and then come back and join again, Seven Dust for another two weeks. And two days ago, we had Cold Chamber joining in the party and started the final part of the tour, which is a month, basically another four weeks across the major cities in the US. Cool. There's a, you know, in Europe, they like buy more CDs and that kind of thing compared to the US, you think? No, I don't because think there's so. Because there's not that many record stores in the US. That's true. but iTunes, I think, is stronger here. The digital, yeah. The, the legal download yeah, yeah. is stronger in America than it is in some places in Europe. You know, it depends. You know, Europe it's very different. Like Italy can be very diverse than than France or than in UK or, or uh, Russia or you know, it's all very different. While America is more one big market, you know, so there is legal and illegal download both here and in Europe. But I think here it's maybe a little more advanced because this started here, you know, so maybe the, the people are more used to, to the digital uh, buying now. Yeah. You know. And uh, you guys have been at it for a really long time. So how have you seen the music industry change? I mean, I mean like from t between touring and sales and yeah, all that kind of I stuff. Mean, we s basically started 15 years ago right. in the professional. We're signing the deal and then changing the name to Lacuna Coya. So uh, we've seen really going, going from, from the, the, the classic analog world, you know, we're, the first record we record them in analog yeah. with the tape. Real to real. And yeah. then after three records, after Coma Lies, we started recording digital and uh, we started also producing and selling digital products. That was something completely out of the blue, you know. So we, we lived and we built our name in the classic way of a rock band by touring and, and growing up, finding our own personal style, forging it in, in like three records at least. I think from Comalize we started to be a more personal band with a more personal sound. So we had the time to build our name and our career and grow as musicians, as performers, as everything. What well, today it's a completely different approach. You know, you, all these new bands they have many chances to be exposed to our Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all the social media. But on the other, in the same way, there are another million bands that got the same chance as you. So yeah. if you don't eat at the first try, then there will be another band the next day. You know, and you will not be the YouTube phenomenon anymore, and somebody else is going to be the next day. You know. So it's very, very difficult. I think for you, I see a lot of bands that open for us and then they disappear. You yeah. Know? It used to be, ah, oh, this band opened for and then five years later they're headlining. You know? Right. Now it's more easy that you don't see this band anymore. You know? yeah. And sometimes it's a really good band. You right. Know? They got lost in r complicated record deals that try to cover all the aspects, like the 360 degrees, yeah. which are not, in the end, not really working because the label has to be also a booking agent. Sometimes they're not a good booking agent. Right. And it takes a lot of time and afford to do that as well. So it's not so easy, you know? Yeah. And, and labels are also changing in you know, a roadrunner has been bought by a major label and uh, the smallest label are struggling because of the download but also they're finding new ways so they're getting more creative so there is a lot of positive and a lot of negative and but there is no clarity at the moment that's the main issue I think so what you guys got coming up after the tour we are currently writing music 
especially Mark, our bass player, is not on tour with us right now because he has an injury. He had an injury on his uh, ligament. Mm -hmm. He's getting better, but he couldn't have faced three months on the sure. road because it's a little too much to, to recover from the injury. So it, we left him home and he's writing a lot of music. So we already have like 10 demos of new songs. So as soon as we go back home in the beginning of May, we take like a week off and then we're going to go straight to songwriting and hopefully go in the studio in the autumn, in the fall somewhere. Cool, man. Well, thanks for the time, man. Thank you, guys. I'm Illuminati, motherfucker.